In this video, we will be taking a look at how to draw simple native port, making use of our shape tools such as weld, trim, intersection. These are the three shaping tools. So remember the shaping tools can be used to form another shape by joining two or more shapes together. Example, I can get a shape like this get another shape like this and then join them together by selecting them then I can choose my weld from here trim or intercept which I can also get via my arrange shaping tool weld trim intercept I can get these three tools from your shaping tools under your arrange menu shaping weld trim or intercept or like an as well get these tools right from your property bar up here all right so I'm taking the shaping tool this is what you get by joining two or more shapes together you can actually weld to form a different shape I can equally get another one let me form this one yeah okay additional so select all and then you weld this is what you get you can equally fill it with color and this becomes your shape all right so how do i take this off right click on it and delete or simply select it and then press your delete button on your keyboard all right so let's take a look at how to draw simple native port having been introduced to this shaping tools well trim intersect I'll get a circle I can equally make it a perfect circle I can get a smaller circle this will act as the head of the port position it properly Select both shapes together and weld from here. You can as well go through your arrange, shaping, weld. This is what I have. I will draw another elite shape. This will definitely add as the opening you know of the port you can as well give it a white color if you like you can give this any color of your choice it's already beginning to look like the port so I'll get my donut the donut will act as the handle of the port I was supposed to use a circle but I'm not gonna do that so I'll be taking a look at the donut shape which I can actually achieve from basic shapes in our previous video you know we talked about the basic shapes you know where we mentioned basic shapes arrows flow chart you know banners and colored so we mentioned all that on our previous video try and watch that so let's go to basic shapes and then we also mentioned about the basic shapes when you choose a shape category from here you choose the content of the shape on another environment here called perfect shapes so down here I'll be taking a look at this shape this is what I came here for it's called your donut I can as well hold my control key while clicking and dragging to get a perfectly drawn shape I can as well use this red dot here to readjust the width of this donut shape okay this is what I have I can place it behind I can give it same color as well you can duplicate it ctrl D on your keyboard to get extra copy 
okay all right so this is what we have you need to position these hands properly okay so what next we need to do we need to send these handles to the back how do I do that select both handles right click on it and then you see your order you order it to the back so I'm ordering it to the back of the page to back of the layer anyone can actually go so let me use to back of the layer so this is what I have you can as well group them together if you want to okay I'll be changing the color of this pot by introducing us to another tool here called your fill tool this is your fill tool your fill tool contains different categories of colors you know your uniform color phantom fill color pattern fill texture fill postscript we'll take a look at these colors you know in our next video let's take a look at the pattern fill under this fill tool this is the pattern fill before I go over to the pattern fill I want you to observe something the shapes that need to be colored must be selected before you go over to your fill tools if I'm filling the entire image the entire shape so I have to select the entire shape here but I need to exclude this one so I can simply do what hold my shift key and select the objects that need to be colored we are not including the top of it this one will act as the opening to the port all right so let's now continue to our fill tool pattern fill all right so down here you have three categories of the pattern fill you have the two color you have the full color you have the bitmap whichever category you wish to go you click on it each of these category has its own list okay I'm picking this one wow beautiful if you wish to change it you go back again pattern fill select any category come down to the list here you can also change it okay all right this is beautiful so this is what you have you can as well select all the object here how do you do that click and drag to enclose all the shapes you need to group then how do you go about the grouping arrange and then group you can as well right click on the body of the selected object and then you can as well locate your group here so this is how you've been able to draw a native port I would like you to try that using your system it should be very simple and easy another thing I can actually do is to actually create a more advanced appearance of this port by simply introducing you to one of the effect tools we have here we'll be taking a look at these effect tools on our pre on our next videos okay try to subscribe to the channel and follow up our next videos you will be seeing more of the wonders that can be done with this your effect tools here for now i'll be taking a look at the drop shadow the drop shadow can be used to apply shadow like effect you know 
on your drawings so clicking on the drop shadow take a look at your property bar here you can observe the preset list click on the preset list you will see different shadow preset okay let's go with this one perspective top right and this is how it looks like so we have a shadow like effect of this native pot you can as well adjust that from here you can also adjust the thickness of the color visibility of the color by clicking on this white handle over here place your pointer directly you can drag to the darker box you know to increase the visibility of the shadow or drag towards the white box to reduce the visibility Of the shadow all right so this is what we have and this is how far we can actually go to this drawing so this is how you've been able to draw a very simple native box using your shape tool and which of the shape tool did we use today we used the world this is the first shape tool that we use today in drawing this native pot try to subscribe to this channel and stick with us on our next drawing which will also involve other shaping tools like your trim intersection all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you